we've talked about what a histogram is and how to form one, we're going to talk about the shape of a histogram. And the shape of a histogram can tell us a lot of information. And we're going to look at six shapes in particular and what they can tell us. The first is called a normal distribution. Here's something that is a normal distribution. The main thing is it peaks right here in the center and then it's symmetric on both sides. And it's important to note that on these shapes, it's very rare to have a histogram that's an exact normal distribution. However, we can see things that are relatively close. So normal distributions are very important in statistics and will be discussed a little bit more later. One of the main things to note is that our mean, median, and mode are all the same for a normal distribution and they're all that center point. The next one we'll look at is called right skewed. Right skewed distributions tend to look like this. The peak is here on the left and then it has a tail to the right. So the right tells us where the tail of this distribution is. These distributions tend to have a lot of low values and then very few high values. Just like we have right skewed, we also have left skewed, which is going to be very similar. Here's a left skewed distribution. We notice the peak is at the right of the distribution and then there's this tail to the left. This one has a lot of high values and very few low values. Right and left skew do get confused quite often because people usually want to refer to where that peak is, but it actually refers to which side of the distribution the tail is on. In this case, it's on the left-hand side, so we have left skewed. The next one we'll look at is called uniform, also sometimes called regular. Here's a uniform distribution. The idea is that every class has equal frequency or very close to equal frequency, and it kind of looks like a rectangle. If we were to roll a die randomly 100 times and try to form a histogram, it would most likely be uniform. The next distribution is called bimodal. Bimodal distributions have two peaks that are either the same or very close to being the same. And the important thing is these peaks need to be separated by at least one class. In my example, I have three classes between them. But the main thing is these two peaks can't be literally right next to each other. The final shape we'll look at is called irregular, also sometimes called random. Here's an irregular distribution. The main thing is there's no real shape or pattern. It looks quite irregular. 